So here I am in the new Istanbul airport. I've got to find my connection to Tashkent. So I've just arrived at my gate. Um, took me about 25 minutes to get here because this place is so huge. Um, apparently it's 90 million yearly capacity. When they've finished the second terminal, we got to 200 million per year, which is the biggest in the world. It's very beautiful as well. So I'm just in time to join the back of the queue to get my next flight. But well, hey, see you in Tashkent. So, made it to Tashkent. I think I'm about to melt. It's well hot. Uh, got the day off today, so I'm gonna go explore, find some sites. See you soon. So, uh, interesting fact. Nearly all the cars here are white because of the sun, so it reflects the heat. And almost all of them are Chevrolet as well because apparently when the larder um, went bust or pulled out of the country, uh, Chevy got in there fast. So everyone drives a white Chevrolet, it's pretty weird. <laughs> so, just been to Shazu Market and uh, Pretty crazy place, it's massive. It's like a big indoor and outdoor market. They just sell fake stuff. And they've got like tons of chickens in one cage. They weren't really keen on uh, me taking pictures in there, but I managed to get a couple before I left. Nice place though. Um, just a shame about the chickens. Hi everyone, so it's Sunday, we just went to um, the college where we're going to be doing the training tomorrow to set everything up, make sure the rooms are all ready and that everything works, which it does, which is good. Um, just got back to my hotel room and I've got the rest of the day, so I'm going to go get my sightseeing bus, make sure I see as much of Tashkent as possible before we start work tomorrow. So before I... Well, go on my sightseeing tour, I decided that I'd go for lunch and I had a plov, which is the traditional dish basically like rice and veg and meat uh, this one had a big slab of horse meat on it which I'd like to say was the first time I tried horse meat but I have had a couple of Findus lasagnas so maybe not but it, overall it was pretty nice, it tastes a bit strange but maybe that's just because I'm not used to it Anyway, I'm full and ready to go and see the sights. So day one is complete, um, we got through quite a lot, there was lots of questions, people were getting involved and I was getting them to volunteer and do little bits themselves, uh, everyone seems to be taking in the information. Uh, we've got some more to do tomorrow, um, just like a bit more on eligibility, some more of the claims sections and then invoicing and then we're going to go through um, useful resources that will help them uh, remember what I've taught them today. So yeah, all in all, it's been a good So, just got up, uh, ready to start day two of the training. Um, once it's done, uh, straight home. As I said, it's really, really hard to make sure that all these, all the training has happened because we've done a lot of training over the last two weeks, all the different types, without K, booking our flights, sorting us out, yeah. making sure the paper's there, along with teaching <laughs> Without these people, we can't do our job. So whilst, so whilst I might be, as you see me, as the important person, without these people, I couldn't do my job. And it's the same for you. You know, you've got your directors, but without you, as teachers, there'd be no students and there'd be no, there would be no colleges. 
So go away, enjoy your family time now, but thank you so much and we'll see you in October. Thank you.